Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. You know when you have an email that's bounced backwards and forwards between several people and you want to forward a certain section of that email to onto somebody else, but you know for a fact that the actual subject header won't make any sense whatsoever to the person that you want to forward it to. Well, this video is going to show you how to change that subject header so it does make sense to them. So we've got an email here and you'll see it's actually, it's just it's me. <laughs> it's bounced backwards and forwards to, to another email of mine, um, just purely for example purposes. And say, for example, I want to forward this very first email here onto somebody else. So you can see the subject line is agenda for next week. And I want to forward this particular email here. So you would go to the three dots over on the right hand side, click more, and you would go to forward. And the box would appear down here for you to forward on to whoever you wanted to and they would see obviously the email that you want to forward but the actual subject line will still say agenda for next week and you know that won't make any sense to them at all so to change that you would click on the little drop down arrow here to the left which says type of response click on the drop down arrow and you can change the type of response at the moment it's down as forward if you wanted to actually reply to somebody instead, you could click reply instead and vice versa. We actually would just want to edit the subject line. So click on edit subject and the email will appear as a normal compose box like it would do normally when you compose an email. And all you need to do is just highlight the subject line here and put in something that does make sense to that person. Send the email as normal and they will receive the forwarded email below. So that's it, a real quick tip for you today on how to edit the subject line when you forward emails in Gmail. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and until next time, happy learning.